The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry? You do your job, you eat your food, you go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty. I just want to talk to you! Oh! 
Elizabeth! Wait! Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes, I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Don't get too comfortable with my company, you know Mr. Dwight. You are a means to an end. No more. For you? <laughs> uh, strike, they say. either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Can you unlock this? You have the lions, whose purpose is to keep order amongst the Here we go. Over there, a service item. The should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Meat, milk, and labor. For the glory of Columbia! diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His 
bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother, she had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. My name is Jeremiah Fink, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. What the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. say to me, think, why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be damned if I let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. You see, the Think Company store brings you Think products at a price designed specifically for the Think worker. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find you a variety of supplies here. Take this. See you through your visit. Got it. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by the clock shop? 15 minutes. 15 minutes now, bid 14. Will you give me 14? 10. 10 minutes bid, now 10. Will you give me 9? 9. I've been 9. 9 minutes bid, now 9. Will you give me 8? 9 minutes bid, now 9. 8. 8 minutes bid, now 8. 7 and a half. 7 and a half. 6 minutes and 15 seconds. 6 minutes and 5. 5 minutes 50. I, I can do 5 and 50. 5 and 50. I said 5 and 50. Anyone know what it is? 5 and 50. Cole Porter goes for the worker in the blue shirt. Those are anarchist words, my friends. And the anarchist is the friend of hunger, the comrade of one, and the partner of disease. And I, for one, will be goddamned if I'm going to let an anarchist come between you and your livelihood. Ammo, Booker! 
Bodhisattva Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. You hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Man, I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Right, let's figure out where this good time club is. Sorry about what I said. At now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet.
the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. You think interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Okay, there's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Come on, Franny. You're a modern woman. It's 1912. It's gonna be 2012 before I'm. I'm fucking about! Cell number nine. Got a lock here. Looks easy enough. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Done. idea what it deciphers. No. Let's keep an eye out. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. No privies down here. They treat them like animals. <laughs> what could people have done to deserve? 
deserve to be picked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Can you open this, Elizabeth? I'll see what I can do. Ready. Take long at all. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Done. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own More interests, money. can you? Now I know Fitzroy has Cats. some calling. But I think you'll find 